Okay, we have another, what I believe is a knockoff Vachette. I bought it believing it was a real one, and I believe me, I paid a real one's price. Uh, this is a pin tumbler, unlike all of the other Vachettes that we found here. Uh, it's a five pin. But as I open the package and I got to look at some of the machine work and the finish on this, I'm almost positive this is another one of the Chinese copies of a Vachette, but they, they took complete liberty with putting the Vachette logo on there. So it looks like a combination of the Vachette logo and the Recycle logo. I don't know if there's any significance to that. But let's see if we can get it open, shall we? I actually had tried and it was like full of sand. So I had to squirt a little bit of our favorite kindergartner spit lubricant down in there. It's the German equivalent of, equivalent of WD-40. All right, so let's try to see if we can pick this thing, SPP it. So just a little bit of pressure. And it still feels pretty nasty down in there. There's a lot of slop in this lock. Still a lot of grittiness down in there. But it's doing its job. It's keeping me out. But there's other ways in, right? We'll find them in a minute. We'll explore it. I got a good fault set going, but I believe it's a fault set, but I don't believe there are any security pins in this lock. And there we go. No security pins at all in this thing, but let's try something a little different. Uh, I've noticed it worked on a, a, another knockoff Vachette, and that's to rock it very easily. I've, I have real Vachettes. It doesn't work, but because this is low quality, low toler or pretty poor tolerances, and there are no security pins, we'll put a little bit of tension, and we're just going to try to rock it real quick, see if we can get it to cooperate. I know it works on the padlock version. Maybe it doesn't work on this five-pin cylinder version now. Try to recock it there. Make sure all the pins are down before we start doing this. And there we go. You can rock it. What I noticed is I wasn't using enough tension. I used ten a little bit of tension on there, but I mean tension on the pick itself. You really got to force these things. Of course, now that we've made that statement, there we go, a, little, a lot of tension on the pick, not on the tension wrench itself, and you'll be able to get right into these things. Anyway, I believe it's a Chinese knockoff of a Shet. They have no shame in putting the logo on there, but there's no question in my mind, based on the sloppiness in the machining, the poor finish, the sharp edges, the obviously cast core, probably, if I applied heat to that core, it would probably melt. So there you go. The not Vachette five pin cylinder SPP and uh, rocked. Anyway, fellas, thanks for your time. Stay safe, stay legal. Last night, somebody broke into a famous royal palace and stole all of the locks. Adding further insult, the intruder painted the cryptid message Bosnian Bill on the walls. If you have the information about this attack, please subscribe to Bosnian Bill's. Lock Lab.